Hey guys, it's me again, your average photographer. Uh, I had a request from one of you guys, Hassan Ali. Thank you very much for commenting and requesting. Uh, Hassan asked if I could do a video about a 3D printed lens adapter for the Sony cameras, the Sony E-mount system. Because Hassan requested it, I printed myself uh, an adapter out of PLA plastic. So here's a close up of it. So I already have a Photosy um, metal adapter that takes the Minolta MCMD mount and allows me to mount it on my e-mount system. Um, so the 3D printed one looks very similar. They're, as far as I can tell, the exact same fl flange distance, which is what you need in order to get proper focus to infinity. And in fact, with this uh, 3D printed adapter, I had no problem focusing to infinity, just as I've never had any issue with this metal adapter. The one big difference that I've found between the two is on this metal adapter, there's this button right here, which allows you to unlock your lens. Um, so when you mount the lens, here, let me show you. Let's take this for example. You twist it in and you hear it click into place and that's locked securely in place. And when you mount this on your camera, obviously your camera has a, mount, a lock and you can push a button on your camera to unlock it. Um, similarly, you have to push this button to unlock the lens. However, the 3D printed one obviously does not have that because it's, it's all plastic and no moving parts. So it actually just uses friction to its advantage. Let's see if I can get it on. This is such a small tolerance that it's actually a really tight fit and sometimes it's hard to properly seat it. But once you do, it is a great fit. So I guess this is one of the disadvantages of 3D printing versus buying a proper one. I want to make sure I'm trying to hit it at the right, um, the right location. These Minolta lenses are not marked as well as the Sony lenses, so sometimes I try to mount it incorrectly. But yeah, clearly I am struggling. Ah, there we go. So I put it in place. It doesn't lock, but with friction, it actually stays pretty solid. Um, solid enough that you can move the focus ring without it coming loose, which is a good thing. Um, yeah, if I try really hard, I can get it to come undone. This will probably wear out the more I use it. Uh, I don't know how it'll hold up over time, but for now, it's a tight fit um, and allows me to mount this great lens on my Sony A6500. Just one more time, I'm gonna unmount it so we can see how difficult this really is. Oh, came out without too much problem. Now let's try mounting it on my 35 or 135. All right, so line up the dots. So there is a dot where you need to line it up it just protrudes out of the plastic. And then there's another dot that corresponds with the dot on your Sony body. So, there we go. See, the more I do this, the better I get. So, um, this lens is pretty heavy, this 135. And surprisingly, the adapter has no problem holding it up. When this is mounted on the camera, it actually feels very solid. Uh, the, the adapter is relatively thick and so, it, it holds up pretty well. So here are a few of the pictures I took quickly with the Minolta lenses that I adapted. As you can see, with the Minolta lens, I get some really great shallow depth of field, some great bokeh in the background. Also, I think the colors from this lens are great, much better than most of my modern lenses. I was up in the mountains a couple weeks ago taking pictures of the fall colors, and it looks great. Also, my long 135 millimeter lens has some great bokeh for portraits. I think it looks very good. 
it works well for longer landscapes like this example. The adapter worked really well and I was really happy with it and I got some pictures that I'm pretty happy about. So in general I'm very happy with this adapter. As you saw earlier sometimes it's a little fiddly to get on and off but it held up well. It doesn't feel any weaker or like it has any soft spots and it allowed me to use my older lenses on my new mirrorless camera and it worked great. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully I have another video for you here in the near future. Uh, have a great day.